the sun, our home star. The sun is the source of heat of all of our planets. It produces this heat by a process known as nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion occurs in the star's core. It is what holds up the star from collapsing in on itself. So that energy released by nuclear fusion, it goes out through all of the star's layers and then finally escapes into space. Just boom, just escapes. The sun is the largest object in our solar system. It has so much gravity, its gravitational pull is so strong that it can hold more than nine planets. Uh, sorry, more than eight planets. I, for, I kind of forgot that Pluto is not a planet. Including many thousands of millions of asteroids that are orbiting around it. Fun fact. When you look at the sun right now, or maybe you're looking at the moon because it's nighttime. When you look at the sun, you're actually looking at it eight minutes ago because light from the sun takes exactly eight minutes to go through Earth. So you're looking at the past, basically. That's kind of fun because you have the ability to look at the past. The further away some object is, the longer light takes to reach you or reach your eyes so you can see further and further into the past that's like an amazing superpower to have if I were you I would totally have that power the Sun is so hot it can reach to more than 15,000 degrees Fahrenheit Wow and that's just the surface layer the core is so much hotter. Nuclear fusion only happens when the core of a star is hot enough. If it's not hot enough, the core will die out, nuclear fusion will stop, and the star will collapse in on itself in a process called as a supernova. Stars are born uh, after another star dies. The cloud of gases from that star creates another star that's like uh, it's kind of weird actually when you put it into humans that's kind of gross the sun is so much bigger than earth it is millions of times bigger than earth like so huge uh, millions of earths can fit inside of the sun right now and you Millions of millions of Earths can fit inside the star without it having to go larger or go smaller. Well, if you make it go smaller, it kind of like, yeah, you know, <laughs> that's it for the sun.